uh, my husband is still fostering this dependency, so I just have to keep my focus on what I want to see happening. And you do, and it, it's harder for you line. because he threw her out, but keeps her dependent. In other words, mm -hmm. that's an impossible place for mm -hmm. her to be. It's like come here, but don't come too close. Mm -hmm. Come here to, in other words, now keep our rules from a distance. Mm -hmm. And I can't force him to see it another way. I just have to do my own journey of. Uh, focusing how I would like it to be and what I intend for her. Well, look at it this way. There isn't anything wrong with the way he is seeing her because he wishes that something that the two of you, you and your mate, have in absolute common is you both want with all of your might well-being for this beautiful girl. There is no question about that. And you can express it vibrationally, whether you express it through actions or not. And we just want to say to you that as you relax a little more, there is some work for you to do because you've been beat up pretty good in all of this too. In other words, she is not an easy girl to live with. It has not been an easy thing for you. You know, the torment that we feel within you is that you expect of yourself that you should always have that blissful mother's love when somebody is being such a rascal, nobody could love her. You didn't say as you came forth into this body, I will look at something unlovable and I will love. What you said is, love is so natural for me, I'll look around for things to love. And daughter of mine, you're not it today. <laughs> And that doesn't make me bad that I'm not able to love you. That's like going to the smorgasbord and picking the most god-awful thing and putting it in your mouth and then being mad at yourself that you don't like it. In other words, it doesn't taste good. Of course you don't like it. Pick something that tastes better. And don't beat up on yourself because that doesn't taste good to you. Just pick something that tastes better, you see. And as you make peace with yourself about this and stop holding yourself to impossible criteria, and instead say, I want to love and oh boy, are there many, many things about you that I love and make lists of those things and activate the things that you love so much until that's the dominant vibration that's playing in your vibration all day, every day. What will begin to happen is your relationship with your daughter will become transformed, but you will be the one who sets the tone of how it is. Mm -hmm. So now think about it. See yourself as a tone setter, or as our dear friend says, as an influencer, as an uplifter, as a motivator, as an inspirer. So imagine yourself seeing her flawed and behind. And imagine that that's the vibration that you're offering. Not too much uplifting going on there, is there? But imagine yourself seeing her as bright and the potential in her and you're remembering the good times and that's what's activated within you. Now can you feel what you're causing to be activated within her?